when the narcissist leads you on. The narcissist will mislead you into believing that they are in love with you or attracted to you. But they may not be interested in you at all. They will flirt with you. They will tease you in an attempt to entrap and entice you. They will encourage your romantic or sexual interest while they have no intention of continuing this course of action so that you attach to them, so that you attribute importance and value to them. They become something significant to you. When you're thinking of them night and day, they distract you from other things in your life that may be more significant to you. And they pick up on certain cues, which lets them know just how significant they are. Like when you're always available to text them or talk on the phone. Or when you're always asking to meet them. But they always say that they're busy. That tells them that they've got you wrapped around their thumb. It tells them that they've got you under their spell. Because now they have captivated your attention. They have brought you under their influence and control. Through the use of their seduction and charm where you can't think about anything else. Your mind is always on them. You're always wondering what they're doing or who they're with. Because they've gained control of your mind. And to the people around you, it may literally look like you're under a spell. It may look like your mind is somewhere else. You're constantly in La La Land. Daydreaming about them. But they have no intention of continuing their course of action with you. It's all about keeping you hooked on them. Keeping you locked under their control because it makes them feel like there's something significant to someone. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel desirable and attractive. And that's all a narcissist is really looking for when they're leading you on. They're just looking for attention. Normally they might buy you gifts or have sex with you as a means of gaining your attention. But if you've already demonstrated that their seduction and charm is effective on you, they're not even going to do that. Because they don't need to. You're already hooked under their spell. They already know they've got you. All they have to do now is keep you there. Which isn't very hard for them to do. Because you're unknowingly doing most of the work. You're feeding into this fantasy which is no basis of reality. They will act like they admire something about you. Which they have no interest in or desire for. And they will use future vacant. They will lie and promise something about your possible future to simulate intimacy. To get what they want from you at the present. And what they want is attention. Your attention fuels them. 
it gives them a narcissistic supply because they know that at any moment you would come running. You would be eager to do what they want. While they have no desire for you. They're completely detached from you. A normal healthy person would never intentionally lead anyone on. It would not make them feel good. It would make them feel guilty and ashamed as though they've done something wrong. And then they would stop. Or they would let the other person know that they're not interested in anything more. But a narcissist is never going to do this. At least, not until they've milked as much out of you as they can. Because as long as they can keep you wanting them, they have your attention. And it gives them supply. These are people who never got the validation they needed from their parents in childhood. So now they're constantly seeking attention from whoever will give it to them. And they don't mind deceiving you to get it. They don't care about how it affects you. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They cannot share your experience. They're only concerned with their own feelings and needs, which is how they're able to lead you on, which is how there's nothing to stop them and tell them that this is wrong. In their minds, it's your fault. You're stupid for believing that they want you. So you deserve this treatment. Because if you were smart, if you were anything better, you would stop giving them your attention. They don't consider that they tricked you into thinking that they have something of significance and value to share with you. They don't reflect on their own actions. They just look at what you're giving to them while being fully aware that they are not deserving of it because they know they haven't done anything to earn it. But it feeds their inflated ego. It makes them feel more important than they actually are. Which only distances them from you even more. Because now they think they're better than you Whenever you're dealing with a narcissist like this, you need to take them off the pedestal. You need to realize that they're still human. You do not need to value them any more than you value yourself. You do not need to make them more important than anything else in your life. And when you do that, they will chase you because now they're seeking your validation. But as soon as you shower them with compliments and praise, that's when they're going to pull away. That's when they're going to think they're better than you. When you're dealing with a narcissist like this, you need to hold back. No matter how great you may think they are, And then they will come to you. Because there's something for them to chase. You're not just giving it away for free. But people who do this 
are not going to be good for anything long term anyway. They're only going to play games with you. They're constantly going to test you. So you're better off finding someone who is going to be less head work. Someone who isn't going to mess with your mind. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.